Okay, welcome back to Enroute. Now what I want to do now is something I've done a bit in the past where I'm going to um, make like a 3D sign. So I'm going to do some words and then I'm going to put uh, dowels in the back of them and onto the board so I can um, have the letters lifted off the board with a gap around it. Quite an effective looking thing. So anyway, we're going to start off with, as... We always do, we're gonna do a rectangle and we'll make it, um, let's see, we'll make it 1200, good size, and we'll make it 450 high. Get rid of that extra, oh, 450, and apply, beautiful. Okay, we'll close that. Now, just for the sake of everything, I'm just going to move that over because I'm that sort of person. And top left, I'm going to make it 20. And I'm going to make it 20. And okay, which puts me down in the size. So that there is the size of the board that my sign's going to be on and now I'm gonna put some text now let me see where's the text all gone there it is right and I'm not gonna use Arial always use Arial but let's see if I can find something a little bit better what do we got there that looks something Bookman old oh, Bookman old how good is that and we're going to make it 300 high. It's not 300 exactly, but yeah, that's what we want. Right, oh, and we'll do, as my computer taught me, we're going to do Fred because the four keys are next to each other for no other reason. So I've got a squillion files on my computer called Fred. So we're going to close that now. And there we go. And I'm going to hit the old shift key so I can constrain it. Which I've done. And there we go. That's how I want it to appear. I want Fred to be looking just like that. The problem is to get that to happen, I've got to first position the dowel holes, and then I've got to cut the letters in reverse because I've got to put the dowel holes in the back. So, anyway, we're going to draw some circles. Uh, and I, I could do this differently because, um, you know, if I had a 10 mil bit, I'm um, 10 mil dowels, I could put them as drill points, but we're just going to do an engrave with 6 mil. So, uh, 5 mil radius, 10 mil down. So, we're good with that. And I'm going to put one here. And apply. And then I'm going to put one here. Actually, I better zoom in a little bit because I'm getting a bit. Yeah, that's better. Now, if I put one there, I'll put one here. And I learned a long time with these ones, so I need to put them around so I can pick them up. Doesn't matter where they go, but you know, you need to support the letter. And okay, we'll move that over. Oops. And we're gonna put one here. Here, here, here. Come back here. Now the E, that's pretty straightforward. Bang, 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 bang. And here, right on side. And I'm going to now close. So, Let's just have a bit of a look, see, I'll just wind him out a bit. 
and go across a bit. Right, so I'll go out a little bit more. Right, so looking pretty good. So that's how I want it to end up. But what I need to do to be able to make that to end up is I'm going to uh, marquee select. So I just want the and I'm going to transform and I'm going to group. Now, I'm going to transform and I should be able to mirror. Mirror, yeah. And one of these mirror horizontally, which is what I want, I believe. No, 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 I want that one. E yeah, that's what I want. And copy. And close. Ah, oh. silly man. Right. Transform mirror. Mirror vertically. And copy. Yeah. And apply. There we go. Now, uh, we want we want that one. So now I've got a, a copy of the letters up here, which are mirrored. Right, so which means basically I'm looking at the back of the letters. Now the ones that I want to here. So what I need to do is now select this, and there's a few things I could just say. Don't cut the the letters when I uh, I do my toolpath thing because I, I don't want anything there. But I'll just for the sake of the demo. What I'm going to do is transform, ungroup it, and then I'm going to select that, and I should be able to just delete that. And oh, now I'm left with the dow hole, so this board is going to cut it out. Right? Have I got... Did I put one in there by accident? I think I did. I did indeed. Delete. So, Mr. Yeah, don't know how I did that, but anyway, we've got one there. So now I've got to do something even more exciting. So when I get to here, I'm going to ungroup, transform, ungroup. So now I've got to be really careful, but I need to do this, and I need to uh, close that. I need that. I need to do this, and then that. Convert right. So I've now converted it to curves. Right, which means, once again, is I've got all that text there, and I'm going to tra transform, ungroup, which allows me then, I've got to do that, so transform, and I'm going to group that. Once I've got that, I can cut my letter D out without fear and then I'm gonna 
group that, so transform, I'll group that, and then I can move the letter E, It'll give me a bit of room around it, and then I'm going to, whoops, nearly got it wrong, so I don't want to pick up that wrong down low, and then I'm going to transform, and I'm going to group, and... And I'm going to move that over to there, so I've got plenty of room. Lastly, I'm going to transform, and I'm going to group, and then I'm going to be able to cut my F out. Okay. And when I've done it, and I've everything is done I'll be able to cut my dowels put them in the board and those letters will fit round there absolutely perfectly okay thanks for watching